Hi everyone, it's Stella Grisant from Whoopa, where we're here to help you work happier and live better. And this is us, our first segment of the year, so Happy New Year of the Work Happier Weekly. And I am really excited to talk to you about a fun tool slash trick that my husband actually just shared with me. And it will help you with your New Year's goals and resolutions. And if you have no idea uh, what your goals and resolutions should be, or if you even want them in the first place, check out one of my earlier segments. And I don't know if Sean is on yet, but he will share in this um, thread one of my earlier Facebook Lives, which will help you figure out how to set more conscious goals and resolutions. So I have a whole nother segment on that. Actually, um, and a tool that I share to help you figure out what you really, really want for the new year is called the Vision Generator. So if you guys are looking for some kind of framework or tool to help you be reflective and conscious and just organized about thinking about the year ahead, Download my free tool, The Vision Generator, which you can get at visiongenerator.com. Yes, I spelled it right. <laughs> okay. So, hey, Roger. Hey, Jessica. So, today, uh, so like I was saying, my husband just got back every year or just for the past two years, but it looks like it's going to be like an annual ritual. He goes away during the holiday time. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do the red lipstick next week. <laughs> I did think about it. Uh, so uh, my husband has been going to a silent retreat, which happens over the holidays. And it's been magnificent for the both of us because he comes back zened out and like ready to be totally present and wonderful and loving. And so I love it. Hey, Victoria. Uh, so, so he came back uh, on the 30th. And he was telling me about a tool that he really liked. And it's actually a tool that they use to help um, a, a people who are recovering from addiction to help them from self-sabotaging and going into a destructive mode. But it really works for all of us, even if you don't have any, uh, addic any serious addictions to substances, we all have addictions to maybe negative thoughts or maybe to our phones or whatever it is, food. So the acronym, and you may have heard of this, is called HALT, H-A-L-T. And it stands for before you do anything drastic, like go to, say something really mean, go for the chocolate cake, go for the drink, uh, go dive back into Netflix, whatever it is that's your vice, before you go and dive back into it, just take a moment to halt, pause, and ask, your, ask yourself, am I hungry, which is what the H stands for, am I angry, am I lonely, or am I tired? And so it's nice to just have that pause and think about, are any of these things going on? Because maybe it's not me, it's just these circumstances that are up that I can actually do something about and I don't have to really go back into or get off my like amazing track that I've been on so far this one day in 2019. <laughs> Let's keep that streak going. So I actually noticed when my husband came back from his silent retreat and I had spent the whole week just being by myself with Lenore, trying to get work done, but not getting any work done, doing a lot of really fun holiday stuff, but being really tired and just feeling at my wits end by the time he actually came home, I noticed myself being kind of cranky and I started to actually judge myself and thinking, oh man, like why can't I be more excited? I haven't seen my husband for a whole week and why can't I be so joyful and um, what's up? And so I noticed myself starting to actually go into that. And one of the things that I recognized about myself that I forget almost every single month 
is my hormones. And so in the halt, there's the, are you hungry? Are you angry? Are you lonely? Are you tired? And I would add an extra H to the beginning and are you hormonal? Now, this is kind of a taboo topic, I think, for a lot of women, especially career women, to talk about because we work so hard for equality that we don't want the fact that our bodies work differently to sabotage our ability to perform or show up in any way. And But I did notice, and I notice this every month with myself, even though others may not notice it. The week before my period, I will start to question everything. I start to question myself. Am I on the right track? Am I doing a good job? Am I a loser? It's as if I become a completely different person inside myself. And I have worked so hard and paid so much money to try to turn this around from eliminating dairy from my diet and wheat and alcohol and coffee and doing acupuncture and all this stuff. And still, sometimes the week before my period, I just really start to get, I become a different person uh, from an emotional perspective or the thoughts in my head are very different. They're more negative. And I know this happens for so many women. And so for the women out there, And tell me if this resonates with you guys. I would just say, just take a step back and notice where you are in your cycle as well so that you're not beating yourself up for feeling a certain way and knowing that this too shall pass. And that even though you may be feeling this way right now, it doesn't mean that whatever is up for you is going to take you off track and life sucks and all of that. It's just a moment. So if you notice you are hungry or you are hormonal or you are angry or you are tired or lonely or any of those things, just take a real moment to pause and notice that it's not your fault and that you're not a bad person. And even though you have these desires to just stuff your face with chocolate or have a drink or what say something really mean to the person who's maybe making you angry, it's better to just pause and shift gears and maybe tend to that hunger or whatever it is that might make you feel better. Go take a nap. I took a really nice nap (laughs) over the holiday weekend and it really helped me. So it's sometimes really that simple or maybe you just need to drink some water. Uh, so that's that's uh, that's it for this Work Happier Weekly. What did you guys think? Does that make sense? Do you notice um, that sometimes you're hangry and it just takes you off track? So um, each week I will be doing this at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And I am so open to any topics that you guys want me to address. I try to keep it to under 10 minutes. And next, since we are like all about, you know, New Year's and change and everything, I will kind of keep the theme this month about how do we stick to our goals and how do we stick to our resolutions. And next week, I will be talking a little bit more about the psychology of goal setting and how to stick with your goals and how it's so easy to psych yourself out of them. So hopefully by next week, you'll still be on track with all those amazing resolutions. (laughs) But if not, I got you. Um, Hey, Yulia. So the other thing I wanted to announce is on the 23rd, I will be doing a webinar for Happify. If you haven't heard of Happify, they're a really great company that offers tools and games and interactive exercises to help you reduce stress, be more resilient, be more happy. And I will be doing a live webinar for them. I believe it's at 1 p.m. If you want to join that, it's free. Make sure you're on my newsletter list so that I can notify you about that. And the way to sign up for my newsletter is you can just go to whoopa.com and there should be a place if you scroll scroll to the bottom, um, a place for you to sign up for my newsletter. And Sean, if you're still on here, maybe you could provide that 
link that's a little bit more direct for folks. Hey, Jan, so nice to see you. So, um, so yes, so I will be doing that and that will be really great for, for New Year's talk. And if again, if there's any topic, any situation that you're coming up against at work or otherwise that you'd love me to mention or talk through, I would be really happy to know it. And you can just message me through Facebook or email me, Stella at Wupa.com, and I will uh, address it if I can. All right. Um, yay, Roger. I'm glad you apply the help method next time you're in a situation like that it's called for. That's awesome. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. Have a wonderful night and happy, happy new year.